probably gonna get a copyright strike for that one, but I have permission, so fuck you, YouTube. Hey, it's officially summer, well, it's not officially summer, but the kids are out of school now, and I've already been tasked with bringing my wife water, bringing my wife, bringing, wow, bringing my wife water and coffee that she forgot. And now I'm home. Let's go make a video. Greetings and welcome to the Thursday Morning Vodcast podcast. Don't be surprised. Sometimes, no matter how hard I try, I can't find things that I've put somewhere. The other day I realized I could add Steam games that weren't Steam games by adding the codes of the games into Steam, and I, it would make it very convenient for playing video games, because then it's not like I play a lot of video games, it's only really that one scum. If you guys want to check out any of those videos, there you go. Probably not, because no one really was. Poor Herbie. I wonder what he's up to these days. How are all you Billy Bumblers doing out there today? I hope you're doing fantastic. This is the first day of summer. Summer, because the boys don't have to do school, which in turn means I don't have to get them up as early. Although, I do want to start getting them. Getting them. I want to get them on a routine, because last summer they would sleep until like 11 or 12, get up, play video games, occasionally eat, um, and then they'd go outside. Now, outside is great. I, oh, I never turn down outside. If they want to go outside go for it. That's what I always say. Unless like there's dangerous conditions outside. I was listening to NPR on the way back from bringing Carol her water and coffee at work this morning. And uh, I heard an article that made me think, and I think I'm going to start listening to a lot more news in the morning before I do these, because I forgot how easy it is to mine it for stuff to talk about. So the news provides that for you. And, and for a year on the road to 40, which you can go and how bad is that? I can't remember two seconds ago which way to point. Uh, the Road to 40 was a series that followed my life from the age of 39 to 40, where I filmed the style just about every night for a year. Uh, I ended up with about 300 videos. But my point is, I was listening to Fox News through all of that. And I'm not a fan of Fox News, but listening to them allowed me to listen to them. And listening to them made me realize how fucking completely insane right-wing media is, and left-wing media, let's face it. But listening to NPR this morning, I heard an article about, um, what was it? I can't remember which state it was, and I even tried to look it up earlier, but I couldn't find it. Um, if you go to NPR, you can probably find it. And if I find it, I'll put it over here. Um, if I didn't find it, there was nothing there. Anywho, the state had a placed a law into effect, a civil rights law, that basically stated you couldn't offer um, anything to a person as, as far as like a discount or anything along those lines unless you offered it to every member of every race. Otherwise, it was considered racist, which is a good law until it comes back to bite you in the ass. Now, recently, uh, obviously, with the Black Lives Matters movement that occurred and the uh, the protest across our country, a lot of companies wanted to offer people of color uh, a chance, well, not a chance, <laughs> they don't get a chance at a discount, but like discount, like so this company, for example, I can't remember what it was, if it was Grubhub, they didn't say, but they wanted to offer uh, discounted delivery fees to people of color, and they did, and now they're getting sued I think maybe they're not getting sued. I can't remember the deal. Anywho, they're considering it unlawful because they offered it to people of color, but not people, other people. So herein lies the conundrum. The law is, is, is a good law and it, it allows for less racism. Um, however, this is the first time where we're seeing a scenario where something like that is backfiring in a way. Um, so I have to ask you and I have to ask myself, is the law right or is it wrong? Should it exist or should it not exist? Racial laws are a funny thing because they are across the board. If you're talking about race in general, if you're, if you're talking about a law specifically like 
the one we're encountering now. I think I think it might have been uh, Illinois, but I'm not 100% sure of that, so I don't want to guarantee and say, hey, it was definitely Illinois. It's just thought-provoking for me. You know, issues like that are not black and white, I don't think, um, because you can reverse them, and you're going to feel the way that that person felt that you disagreed with from your perspective. So you have to understand that th this whole country has become so divided, mainly by the media and social media, for that matter, that, um, you know, finding the truth requires a little bit of work nowadays. Unfortunately, my work has not yielded anything for me today because I couldn't find the article. So I can't really confirm all of this, but NPR did have it on there. So if you go to NPR, listen to... I don't know, it was probably like the 7 o'clock um, reading. Speaking of racism, let's get racist for a minute. I'm not going to share anything with you yet because my DNA test results are not back yet. However, we did, and I did film Carol's reaction to hers. And there's a twist. Oh, it is a shocking twist to all, or for her at least. I mean, there's been my twist as well. You want to hear a twist? I wish we could put it on this album. Anywho, it's coming. June 13th is still the date that they're telling me that it's supposed to be uh, available for me to read my results. So whenever that happens, I've got the A-OK, -okay, the thumbs up from Carol to just go ahead and film it. Uh, and yeah, I, I can go ahead and film it <laughs> and share it with you guys. I got my sandpaper yesterday, Bob. It's not quite, the desk is not quite level, so I'm going to try to do this in post. I'm going to try to do this in post. I'm going to do this in post. I also don't like the fact that I'm over here. I feel like I should be over here. Yeah, that would be nice, huh? Unfortunately, it makes my, my boom arm look like, uh, uh, like it's stretching, like it's trying to reach out to my mouth and it wants to touch my mouth. I love the feel of a soft windscreen on my lips. All right. Well, if you guys are loving watching these, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy, howdy. <laughs>